2000. It was in 2000 that God brought the final visitation to me, or maybe 2001. I had two visitations close together, one in 2000, then this one in 2001, when God finished the mantling of me for this nation, for what I do now. And it was Bishop who saw what was happening and put his face in my gut, my just over me. I mean, just literally, sometimes put his head right on here and just groan and travail and call forth in me what God was doing. He literally birthed what I've been walking in for the last 25 years. Not just right here, but stand a long time, arm in arm. I feel like you guys need to stand arm in arm and uh, there, there's something of that coming together that God has decreed for this time and that there's a release that God wants to bring. Uh, part of what God's decreed for this season is a double portion. And it is the apostolic and the prophetic working together. Mm. It does open up ways and transform cities, lands, and nations. And so I'm going to just loose Bishop to be able to pray and uh, just release what God has for you for, our, for this time. Father, we thank you right now with delegated authority. We charge the man of God that you've called to intercede for this nation and bring transformation. And so now, Lord, I release the spirit of wisdom and revelation upon him like never before, and he will be an unstoppable force. He will be able to do all that God you've intended to charge right now. The power like never before arising. Power arise. A power arise. When he speaks, demons will tremble. When he prophesies, heaven is open. And he's going to bring transformation wherever he goes. In Jesus' name. And even as you were anointed in the fourth quarter of this year to say, I will uncover you. I think it's significant that 5783 means to uncover and to lay bare. And so the Lord says today, I'm releasing an anointing upon you to see things you've never seen before, to hear things you've never heard before, to be able to, to uncover the works of darkness and to expose the strategies of hell. The Lord says this is a fresh mantle of the prophetic. You came here, says the Lord, to receive a oh. fresh double portion mantle of the prophetic to go with the apostolic authority to mobilize the ecclesia for the days that are ahead for the Lord says that surely as there is been a voice war the Lord says even this week when the enemy canceled you the Lord says I'm gonna cause that cancellation to boomerang back on his own head and the very strategies of hell are being exposed Exposed and the boomerang anointing is coming, says the Lord, and you're going to cancel the voice of the enemy, says the Spirit of God. And the Lord says that even the voice that is written on that veiled spirit that brings confusion against the church, confusion against apostles, confusion against prophets, Father, right now, we take authority over that yeah. veil assignment of confusion in the atmosphere, and yeah. we break the assignment yeah. against the voice. We cancel your voice today. We cancel your voice today. Give the Lord a shout with yeah. your voice. Give the Lord a shout today. Yeah. We shout today. The cancellation of the voice of the air. Yeah. We cancel the voice of darkness. It's not just a form. Things are happening in the heavens. Things are happening throughout the earth. And this is going to ricochet all around. It started a brand new breakthrough. It's real. It's real. All right, let's use this mic if it's got a little better. Say that again. Just Say that again, Bishop. Yes. I said this. This is not just religious action here. You're seeing heavens and God's authority in action. This is in action. Amen. And this is this will take you see it. newspaper you watch for the rest of the year. This time and purpose is going to happen. And uh, I noticed that Tom had on his uh, daily book of scripture put out that God sends forth His word. Comes out of his mouth, and it shall accomplish what he sent it. It will not come empty-handed. It will bring it to pass. Amen. Praise God. This is a day that heaven's rejoicing. It's been reported in heaven. I saw it in the spirit, and this thing. Jesus says, "It shall be done." Amen. 
For the Lord would say, Son, even as you have unlocked a door where I will babble with you and for you and for my church in a new way, the Lord would say that it will be like the days of Joshua when hailstones came from heaven and took out the enemy. And the Lord would say that even as you have unlocked even an angelic host to battle and to war, the Lord would say there won't just be one, but the Lord would say there'll be a multiplicity of angelic activity that I shall strategize with you. And the Lord would say that even as you and your brother Tim became even as sons of thunder in the kingdom, the Lord would say that angelic host that he has spoken of for the many years are awakened right now, says God. And the Lord would say those unseen weapons that will fall will be like nuclear weapons from sudden sudden marines that are loosed and launched, says the God. And the Lord would say they will strike strategic spots in the enemy's camp. And the Lord would say there shall be great breakthrough from the unseen realm, says your God. what you heard in worship today. The Lord said it's a sound that I've been looking for. I've been waiting for. You've heard it in different places. The Lord said that sound is releasing what's been held in the heavenlies until now. And I saw the Spirit today as that sound went up. The Lord said go get the trumpet that has not been blown yet. And the angel went and got the trumpet. And the trumpet was solid gold. And as we worship the Lord today, the angel said, Blow the trumpet. The trumpet that has never been blown before. And when that trumpet was blown, I saw the sound was the as words coming out of it. It was the word of the Lord. And the Lord said to tell you, I will blow you like that trumpet. You will be that trumpet sound in the fourth quarter. And the word of the Lord will come up out of your innermost being that has never been spoken before. And as my decree goes forth, it will break the back of the enemy. But more than that, it will release my ecclesia. It will hear the sound that's been coming out of her will now come in communion with her. And the two shall become one in this day. I want us to also believe that there's going to be a force field of protection around Dutch and CC in this season of time. They've had to fight a lot of personal battles during this time too. And I and I just heard Isaiah 61, 7 that says, because you've got a double dose of trouble and more than your share of contempt, your inheritance in the land is going to be double and your joy is going to go on forever. There's a double portion restoration that's coming to you and double portion protection for everything that you need to accomplish in this next season.